Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss QQ plot in linear regressions. QQ plot is used to answer the following questions. The QQ plot is graphical technique for determining if two data sets come from population with a common distribution. A QQ plot is a plot of the quantile of the first data set against the quantile of the second data set. By a quantile, we mean the fraction of points below the given value. That is the point three quantile is the point at which 30% of the data fall below and 70% fall above the value. A 45 degree reference line is plotted here, as you can see on the graph. If the two sets come from a population with the same distribution, the points should fall approximately along with this uh, reference line. The greater the departure from the reference line, the greater the evidence for the conclusion that the two data sets have come from the population with different distribution. The advantages of the QQ plots are, the sample sizes do not need to be equal. Many distributional aspects can be simultaneously tested. For example, shifts in location, shifts in scale, Changes in symmetry and the presence of outliers can be detected from this plot. For example, if the two data sets come from populations whose distribution differ only by a shift in location, the points should lie along a straight line that is displaced either up or down from the 45 degree reference line. The QQ plot is similar to probability plot. For a probability plot, the quantiles for one of the data samples are replaced with the quantiles of theoretical distribution. This is the uh, QQ plot which shows these two batches do not appear to have come from the populations with the common distribution. The batch one value are significantly higher than the corresponding batch two values. Here you can see the differences are increasing from value 525 to uh, 625. Then the values for the two batches get closer again. Here you can see. For more details on QQ plot, you can visit the link in the description. So that's it for today's video. And if you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to 